And welcome back. The New York City Horror Film Festival is hosting its 16th annual edition from November 29th through December 2nd at Sinopolis Theater in Chelsea. Now, a film that's co-created by one of Bronx's very own is set to make its New York City appearance after premiering in Los Angeles earlier this year, winning awards and acclaim in multiple film festivals in the United States as well as across other countries. Well, we are pleased to welcome producer, actor, and Bronx Set program host, Javier E. Gomez, and director, producer, and actress, Luciana Fall Harbor. And thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Nice to see you. I have to say good morning. First of all, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming in this scene. <laughs> I usually see him in another capacity, and that's usually hosting Diago Alberto. And uh, here you are. I didn't know you had all this going on. Well, uh, most people don't know that I am actually, besides being a journalist and a program host, I am actually a trained actor. Mm -hmm. And I have always had parallel careers in journalism and communications and acting. A couple of years ago, uh, I decided to join forces with my school partner, mm -hmm. Luciana Falhaber, and uh, we decided to, after producing a couple of shows in New York and other ventures and a short film, to go into producing a uh, a horror motion picture that was inspired by the films that we saw in our childhood growing up. You talk to us about this here. So you, you're taking horror, but you're putting a little twist to it. Right. We we wanted to move out of theater into film, and we're trying to decide um, what what was the genre that we wanted to try out, you know? And we did a short film before that that kind of ranged in the thriller area, and we really had a good time doing that, and we decided, you know what, let's do a feature. And people just kind of told us we couldn't. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you guys are crazy. And we're like, all right, I guess we won't make it with you. Right. So we just kept on and on, and, and uh, you know, I was very lucky to meet Javier in school, and he saw the producer in me before anybody else did. Um, and he's been modest about a couple of years. I mean, we've been to working together now almost 10 years. Um, and I'm a big fan of his work, so please, let's hear more about that. Right. <laughs> about Don't Look the Movie. Well, Don't Look, it's, uh, it's a new film inspired by the 1980s slasher uh, comedies. Mm -hmm. Those films that growing up in the 80s, we used to love to get together as a family or with friends and just to watch and laugh. The story is pretty simple and it's pretty traditional, but it does have some twists in terms of the role of women mm -hmm. and other minorities and, and how, how it breaks some of the molds in there. Luciana, as a director, I think has brought in a very unique vision to the genre, and I think that's why people are embracing the film so broadly these days. And you have a screening coming up on the 29th? Yes, we're very excited about it. It's going to be part of the New York City uh, Horror Film Festival, which is one of the biggest ones in the genre. Mm -hmm. We're so excited and proud that they included us in this year's programming. And uh, we're hoping to have a full house. So everybody, please come out and check us out. It's going to be great. What does it mean for you to be a part of the film festival? Uh, it means a lot, you know, like Javier mentioned, being part of a community at large is part of the reason that we make films. You know, we make films for an audience and we make films for a community, uh, not just ourselves. So th the fact that they embraced us and our work um, and they are really enjoying this throwback feel to it, it really means a lot to us. We did it in a, in a very, very kind of selfish way. Mm -hmm. We grew up watching, you know, those movies. I have an older sister and I would sneak in like when my parents weren't looking with to hang out with her friends and watch those movies. And it has that vibe of like, you know, somebody peeking through a, you know, a window or something, trying to check it out. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we wanted. And, you know, the reception was way bigger and better than we expected. We, we yeah. have had a few different awards. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the embrace, because it's been a huge embrace. I mean, you've won awards. You've got people in the community who are saying, listen, this is something that we, you know, we like, we see. And you're inspiring people. We have won uh, audience award in um, Brazil, um, best uh, effects in Canada, special award in Puerto Rico. Uh, we've got, I mean, yeah. like four, six uh, major awards. I think something that is resonating well with people is also the history of the project. It was, uh, we call it the little project that could. <laughs> it was uh, partially uh, crowdfunded in Kickstarter. More than 500 people donated to our campaign to make wow. it happen. Uh, most of the music selections that you will hear in the film were actually selected from uh, nominations that people, artists from around the world, submitted their own work uh, with, they responded to our call. So it's everyone coming together in a community mm -hmm. and and contributing something to make this project happen. So it's everybody's triumph. So you want to check out the screening. It's taking place on November 29th. Uh, and you can check it out. It's going to be part of the 16th anniversary of the New York Horror Film Festival. And uh, this year's festival has a very special kick to it. Uh, they're honoring African-American uh, filmmaker Tony Todd. What does that mean for you? 
I think for filmmakers at large, it means so much, you know, being a minority and a person of color, like Javier and I always try to, you know, strive for Latinos and our representation out there behind and in front of the screen. So being part of this 16th annual celebration, being, you know, producers of color, it means a lot to us. Something beautiful is also the importance of platforms like the Horror Film Festival in New York City that allows or facilitates emerging filmmakers like Luciana and I and others to stand side by side with Tony Todd and, and share and, and engage in a conversation and engage in a dialogue about moving forward and also opening doors up for people that are coming behind us. And you talked about crowdfunding, getting you started, helping you to get started, but talk to us about being an independent filmmaker, right? There's a lot of challenges that come with it. What were some of the biggest challenges for you looking back and saying, oh, God, you know? <laughs> I mean, there were only challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Every day we were amazed this film was actually finished and made. Um, you know, starting a, kick, a crowdfunding a Kickstarter, mm -hmm. that alone is a full-time job. Whenever people come to us and ask about advice on how to do it, we always say don't. <laughs> you know, find a different way. Um, you know, it's mostly your friends and family who donate, so maybe you don't need to go through a platform. You can find a way to do that directly um, and it becomes a full-time job we were emailing people and, and messaging and texting and calling you know and by by the end you know almost a full days you know and then mm -hmm. from there to not having enough money to make a feature because whatever we raised was not enough we raised 50,000 to make a you know a, an hour and 20 minute movie definitely is not enough so right. and now we have to like figure out ways to make that money and stretch it out you know as much as we could uh, and again, community really came on board. We shot in Pennsylvania. They were really generous with us. And then, you know, people bring pies and food and, and we would need a generator. And they'd be like, oh, there's a guy down two farms away who has one we can borrow and things like that. So we screened there earlier this year. And, you know, the community support really is part of that project. And we're really proud of that. Um, and then, you know, we were first time filmmakers and that mm -hmm. comes with its own challenges. So we all, usually when you, as a director, when you're a first time director, you surround yourself with people that know what they're doing and have that experience. But unfortunately, we didn't have that kind of a budget. So we went out and searched for other emerging artists who also were hungry and needed to create something of their own, but they also didn't know how to make a first time feature. So we all really learned together for that process. I think the film taught us uh, reminded us of the best in humanity. People do come together when there's need. Mm -hmm. And I think it also forced us to be very creative in thinking out mm -hmm. of the box mm -hmm. and thinking how can we get things done creatively. Like at some moment, we didn't have uh, a lighting package. And people kept saying, you guys are shooting a horror film. Lights have to be perfect. And we used to scratch our heads and go like, oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were able to get a grant from Ari. Mm -hmm. And with that came a very basic lighting package. And, and from there, we found some gentle souls in the Camden, Philadelphia area who actually rented us a fully loaded truck with the best lighting you can have for a horror picture for literally peanuts. Wow. Right. So it's, it's, it's a huge lesson about when you have a belief and a passion, pursue it, start it, get it work, and then the path shall, uh, the path shall open and reveal itself. Right. You, gotta just get, you just got to go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. ahead and do it. So November 29th, I want to invite you to come on out, 16th annual New York City Horror Film Festival. You can check out the movie there. And then after that, where do you go? Where do people catch up with you at? Well, we're having a pre-party because the screening's at 10 p.m., so we <laughs> yeah. want to make sure everybody is a Thursday. Everybody has time to go home and sleep before work. So we're having a party across the street starting at 8 p.m. at the Trailer Park Bar. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a deal. You can have a ticket. You get a free drink. Uh, and then <laughs> okay. come join us. All right. Well, we want you to come on out and do that. And thank you so much for coming. Thank to you, Darren. Great Congratulations to, be here. to you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Come we back hope to see you there. Best. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Listen, take a quick break. We've got more shows with us. Uh, so stay with us. We're coming right back right after this.